Welcome back to the Steam Deck video. Today we're actually looking at cry utilities for the Steam Deck. This is a sort of an add-on you can add to the Steam Deck to boost performance. And I have heard that it does give a slight bump and we're going to one, walk through how to do it and then also compare it to the settings we're running now. I picked Ghost of Tsushima on the PC as my test gameplay. If we go to graphics right here, it's kind of hard to see with the overlay, but we're running low graphics right now. Actually, none of these should change after Cryo Utilities runs. We're also at 60 FPS, but we're getting an average of probably around 45 FPS. You'll see right here, the number. And this is, uh, has been pretty consistent. We're just in the fuel area here. And then we'll go ahead to the little town, the Golden Temple, and see how the FPS looks here. It drops a little bit, but not too much. Definitely still playable. So we're hovering between 40 and 50, closer to the lower part of 40. Now let's run Cryo Utilities and go from there and see if it actually improves the gameplay. So before we run Cryo Utilities, there are some easy setup things we can do to get the Steam Deck at its most optimal. And one of them is increasing the UMA frame buffer size from one gigabyte to four gigabytes. Now this isn't anything new, and if you've done it before, you can skip this step, but if you have a stock Steam Deck like I do, this is something that you can do pretty easily. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first step is to power down the machine. So let's go ahead and do that here. Shut down. And then when we start on boot, we're gonna hold the power button and the plus volume button together. When you hear that chime, you can go ahead and let go. And it should put you in a boot menu. So now that we're in the boot menu, we're going to navigate to Setup Utility at the bottom right. Go to Advanced. And then we'll see here the UMA frame buffer size. Click on that and then set that to 4 gigabytes. And then once we have that set, we'll save and exit. Save changes, yes. And then to confirm what we just did, we can go ahead to the Settings, System, and see the VRAM size is four gigabytes. So now we're gonna to go to the desktop mode where we're gonna do the rest of the setup. So we're in the desktop mode and something for this setup is we will need a pseudo password. If you haven't set one already, I'm gonna show you how to do it. If you have, just remember that you know it and you'll use it coming up. So go to the terminal, which is called console, and then you just want to type in the command P A S S W D. That's an F and you can change your password. So if you already have one, it's going to ask you to change it. If you don't have one, then it's going to ask you to set one. And then whatever you set it to, I recommend something easy. Just remember it because we're going to use it later. So I already did it, so I don't need it. Then we're going to go to Firefox and we're just going to type in cryo utilities and it'll pop it right here cryo utilities for the steam deck we can go ahead and select that and it should take us to the github page from cryobyte 33 which is the one who made this there's information here if you want to read it but what we're essentially doing is going to go down to this download link and we're going to right click or left trigger and save link as, go to the desktop and just save it there. So that's on the desktop right now. We're gonna go ahead to the desktop and click on this, continue. It's gonna run everything right here on the console. And it's been completed. So now from here, we can go to Cry Utilities, the app, 
this script was made. Nothing, no damage is responsible to Cryo Utilities. It's on you for using it. Hit yes. Then you're gonna put your password in. So once your password is in, it's a pretty easy setup. You're just gonna hit the recommended button right here and it's gonna run everything. Now, if you wanna go more in depth and tweak the settings, you can, but that's up to you. Depending on how long this takes, it depends the Steam Deck and how much you have on there, but it might take a while, so just let it complete. All right, so that is finished running. Go ahead and press okay. And then if you ever want to revert back to before CryoTilities was installed, you can just hit this stock button right here. It'll do all that. Swap will show what the recommended settings set. So we have the current swap size, 16 gigabytes, current swappiness. Not too knowledgeable on what this is. So if you want to learn more, definitely recommend going to CryoBytes YouTube page as well as his GitHub page. So you can see everything that's in green, green is good. Storage, we'll come back to that. VRAM is four gigabytes right there. And also it tells you how to do what we just did. So you turn off the Steam Deck, do the volume up, advanced. If this isn't enough, it's gonna be red. So whatever is red, it'll show you how to make it green. So for storage, there's two options. Sync game data, which essentially makes sure that Everything that belongs to a game is on the location that it's stored in. So if I have Death Stranding on my micro SD card, but the shaders are on the Steam Deck itself, it just puts all the shaders onto the SD card as well. So things run more smooth and there's less buffering. Delete game data. Sometimes when you delete a game, the, there's some shaders left over and you can just clean that out if you want to. So if you want to sync, you can do so. Delete game data, you can do so. Your choice, you can always come back to here and do that. And then the options you have that came with it is uninstalling Cryo Utilities and updating it. So now that we installed it, let's go ahead and run Ghost of Tsushima again, same area, and see if we notice any differences. Now, just a quick little heads up. I came back to start Ghost of Tsushima and it told me to install it. And then I was curious because it was installed as you guys saw. Then I went to settings and storage and there was, I don't know why I had this fragmentation on my SD card. It's just the way it is, I don't know. But the SD card is only showing up with something else. So I went ahead and unplugged it, plugged it back in, and then it still showed up as weird. So then I clicked on the game, went to manage storage, and then it just kind of figured itself out. So if you guys see that, don't freak out. Don't think you have to reinstall it. Just let it kind of settle down for a bit. Go ahead and futz around with the settings, see if that helps and it should be good to go. All right, we are back in Ghost of Tsushima, and just to confirm, all of our settings should have stayed the same. Low settings. I don't believe anything here should have changed in terms of power, 60 FPS, nothing else here is set, and this is what we're rocking. So if you remember from before, the RAM was almost at about eight, and I'll put a side-by-side -side as well so you guys can see, but the RAM was almost at about an eight, and depending on what we did. So I don't really know what to expect. The FPS was again between 40 and 50, usually on the lower side. Right now, we're mid 40s. And it looks like we're staying there. I do notice the RAM is not going as high as it did prior. And maybe it's just me. And maybe it feels a little smoother too. Yeah, I, I don't know if this stuff is just placebo effect. And again, I think it's game to game. So some games that are hard to run on the Steam Deck might run better. But I think for a game that ran pretty decent previously to Cry Utilities, you know, it runs about the same. Maybe a marginal increase. Maybe during combat it runs better. I haven't played too much on the Steam Deck, but from what I saw and what I showed you in the original debut of how Ghost of Tsushima runs on the Steam Deck, it ran pretty playable and pretty well. One thing is I don't see it dipping below 40. Previous to Cryo Utilities, it did dip below 40 sometimes. So maybe it's just a little more consistent and sometimes that's all you need in the game. You're not gonna run at perfect settings. It's not gonna be 60 FPS locked, but as long as it's playable and it's consistent, it's a more fun experience. All right guys, so that was a quick little tutorial of Cryo Utilities for the Steam Deck. Let me know what you think. It's a very, very simple setup. I mean, it took me if I wasn't recording this, it would have probably taken me three to four minutes. That's really no time at all. So 
For something that you can undo, but also potentially get better performance, I definitely think it's worth it and I would definitely recommend it. If you guys have done this in the past and you've experienced a change in certain games or emulations, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to try those games and see how it differs. You could always pause or revert the cryo utilities and then do it again to see a difference. But I don't know, I just wanna play the games. If you like the video, drop a like. If you wanna see more videos in the future, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.